Okay, so guys, we have this VBA sessions which is starting today. So this VBA session, I will explain first what actually this VBA is, and then we'll move on to smaller examples today, so that uh, we have uh, you know one hour of session. In that, I'll try to cover most of the important things uh, for uh, today's agenda. Okay, fine. So first thing is, I actually don't prefer all these uh, PPTs and all those things. Why? Because uh, you know that is not my way of training but uh, still for online training this is very much required what i'll do is i'll just explain what is there in this ppt so that i'll be sending this uh, video to you or this uh, uh, material to you so that you can go through this in a later stage but i'll explain what actually we have in this ppt okay fine so first of all uh, we'll understand what is this bba a bba is nothing but it's visual basic for applications which is a software which has been implemented in your MS Office applications. So VBA, many of them actually feel that uh, it is used only for Excel, um, for writing macros or something. It is not like that. Actually, VBA is implemented in every applications we have in MS Office. Okay, VB is nothing but it's Visual Basic, which is a software package, which is actually from Microsoft, which has been implemented in your applications right okay so <clears throat> why do we use this vba i'll explain first the thing is when you actually want to write some um, you know doing some uh, a task say manually the copying uh, uh, say hundreds of files copying the data and pasting it into one place so you have to take a lot of time actually so instead of that what we can actually do is we can write some small uh, macros which will help us in automating tasks so because of which we can reduce the time accuracy is actually increased you'll have a, a good quality um, of uh, data and uh, you don't have to bother about uh, uh, whether uh, you missed any uh, uh, steps or something so everything will be aligned so that it will be easy for you to work on um, uh, things much faster so you can save time you can have accuracy and you can also um, uh, make sure that uh, things are uh, uh, going uh, um, according to the process okay and you can also protect multiple workbooks at a time so that uh, you have uh, more uh, secured uh, um, uh, files so <clears throat> for that purpose we'll be using this vba so please don't get confused that vba is only meant for excel this is available in entire ms office package okay fine next uh, when to use this I was talking about the automations automation in the sense i have uh, hundreds of files to be copied and pasted in one place or say i want to export my uh, charts or uh, uh, say tables to another application say ppt or something then i can actually use this vpa i can also use this for various other things um, like uh, uh, say you know uh, mailing uh, multiple files or uh, importing some data from various different sources say it can be from sql server or say ms access or say csv files or text files anywhere you can just take the files and you can import it as well okay and this history you can just go through this i'm sending you this ppt so that you can uh, go through this i don't want to waste much time in uh, speaking about these things the advantages again i told you you can save time accuracy is more and anyone who don't know the macros or say program even the you know those people also can actually uh, use this tools or something which is developed in my um, say vpa okay fine so disadvantage not much disadvantage but yes disadvantage means you actually have to know how to write programs if something goes wrong say for example now you are working on some uh, uh, data suddenly the structure of the data is changed uh, which has been automated now what to do now you have to go and either write the programs on your own or you have to depend on someone where again it will take a lot of time meanwhile you can finish the task itself so there are few uh, you know problems like this so that you can actually go through so i will not uh, waste much time uh, in these things i'll just open one more uh, ppt for you so these ppts are actually shared with you guys okay so please don't worry about uh, these, uh, you know, uh, theoretical uh, things. Anyways, I'll be sending you this uh, video, so you can uh, go through that. Okay. So let me share another PPT with you, which is VB Editor, 
and again this i'll be explaining you completely with practical things instead of again going through all this ppt this ppt is actually um, uh, done only for your purpose <clears throat> okay so in this uh, say ppt or something so what i'll be actually explaining you guys is how to use this vb editor okay that i'll open my excel sheet and then i'll explain the complete explanation is there in this uh, uh, ppt you can go through that as well okay so i'll not go through this ppt and explain so what i'll do is uh, i'll just explain it by using uh, uh, you know excel sheet i'm just showing you all these slides what actually you have the same thing i'll be showing you using this excel sheet okay <clears throat> fine so for time being let's open excel sheet and i'll share that excel sheet with you okay so hope everyone are actually watching this uh, excel sheet the ppt whatever is there that i'll be sharing with you guys you can go through that and you can compare with the video what i'm actually sharing with you so that you can uh, in line practice all these things which i'm explaining okay first thing is let's say i have opened my excel okay now this is my front end what we call this as a front end now i need to write macros that is my intention so what should i do so before writing macros there are few things what actually i should know before writing macros so what are those say first thing is i need to open my editor that is visual basic editor we also call it as vbe okay say alt plus f11 which is actually mentioned in my ppt as well very clearly so alt f11 if i press i'll get the screen guys please uh, unmute and tell me whether you are able to see my screen please yeah yes, yes. yeah we are okay. able to see okay fine okay now i'll come to this editor can you see this editor this edit this this screen what you see is called as visual basic editor which is vbe so don't get confused with vba and vbe vba is nothing but visual basic for application vbe is visual basic editor which is actually used for writing macros okay fine now if you open this say alt f11 there are different way of opening that are mentioned in my ppt you can go through that once i come to this vb editor see i'll have a blank screen like this this blank screen so where will i write the macros so don't have to bother here we need to understand few windows which will help me in writing the macros so what are those windows that i'll explain you know briefly so here if you go i have something called as view if i click on this here i have multiple windows which you can see first thing what you have to do is three main windows you should keep in mind what are those i'll tell you one is the project explorer property window and code window again i'll explain say project explorer property window and code window okay now let's open this say project explorer we have shortcut key control r i'll click on this once i open this see i'll get this project explorer this project explorer is very much similar to your windows explorer which will have a uh, same windows explorer will have what folders then we have sub folders and files similarly here in my project explorer i'll have objects say here the first level i'll have vba project this is nothing but the workbook what i'm actually working if i click on this icon i have a plus icon here click on this again all the objects will come there are different objects that i'll discuss in next few minutes so here i have all the objects this is called as project explorer which will actually have all the objects aligned okay fine next window we saw here was property window so what is property property means i have an object i'll have different properties on that so for example i have a laptop laptop has got its own properties then i have a mobile i have a different properties on it now let me go here i'll click on this property window which also says f4 as a shortcut key if i click on this see i'll get this property window this property window will show all the properties of the objects what i have selected in my project explorer let me select this sheet one so i'll get the properties of it let me select this this workbook 
I'll get the property service. Okay, so this is called as property window, wherein I have a shortcut key that is F4. If I plus F4, then I'll get this property window. The next window, what I should understand is the code window. The code window is F7. If I press on this, see, I'll get one wide screen here. This is called as the code window or module or the place where I write my macros. This is the place where I'll be writing my macros. So complete program what I'm writing, this is the place, okay? Fine, so these three windows say Project Explorer will have the shortcut key of Control R, then property window, the shortcut key of F4, then I have this F7 as code window. So these three windows are very important for you guys to understand, okay? Fine, so this is what I've mentioned in my PPT as well. So I'm going step by step what PPT is there. Next one is you should understand what is a macro. Okay, many people actually get confused with VBA and macro. So VBA is nothing but it's an application, but macro is nothing but the program written in that application. Okay, so don't get confused. Macro is nothing but it's a set of instructions or we also call it as programs or procedure or subroutine which will be written in this particular macro editor or code window. Okay, fine. So if you want to write a macro, there is something called as code window and this code window, there are different code windows that will discuss. Let me close this. Let me close this. Fine. So we understood about three windows. That is Project Explorer, Property Window and Code Window. Next is we understood about the macros. That is macros are nothing but a set of instructions which you are writing in the code window. Now, there are different type of code windows. That I'll explain you guys. Okay. So what are those different uh, windows? A module is nothing but a place where I write the macros. And we have five different type of modules that I'll show you what are those. Say first window, first module, I'll go here. Just right click and say insert. Here I have something called as module. This is called a standard module. Let me click on this. See, I'll get one module like this. The first window is the standard mo standard module, which I write all the macros. Most of the macros I'll be writing in this module. Okay, this is called as standard module. How to insert? Just say right click, insert and click on this. I'll get the module. Or I can go to this insert and say module. Or I can also use Alt I and say M. I can insert. This is a shortcut. This also I mentioned in my PPT. Okay, fine. Next one. Next one is sheet module. Can you see this? I have this sheet one. Let me double click on this. See, I'll get one module like this. A different window, right? This is called a sheet module. Now, if you want to insert a sheet module, I cannot directly go and insert in this project explorer. So for this, what we have to do is, we have to go to my Excel sheet. How to go to Excel sheet? Either you can click on this object, click on this, I can go here. Or if you know the shortcut key, Alt tab, you can uh, navigate between the sheets. Now I'll go here, I'll click on this. See, I inserted few sheets, sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. Then let me go back again. I use Alt tab now. Can I see this? Sheet one, sheet two, and sheet three. If I double click on this, see, I'm getting different windows. This is the second one that is sheet module. The third one is workbook module. Let me click on this, see, double click on this. I'll get this workbook module, this one. This is workbook module. Workbook module cannot be inserted. I can have only one module in this. Only one workbook module I can have. Next one is user form module. So right click and say insert. And here I have this user form module. Click on this. I'll get one user form like this. Just double click here. See, I'll double click on this. Again, I'll get one more macro window for this wherein I can write the macros. This is the object window. And here I have this macro window for this particular form. 
user form the next one is the class module say insert and i'll say class module i'll get this class module or i can go to this insert and say class module or i can also use the shortcut key alt i and say c this let me repeat again all these five different modules first one is the standard module that is this one second one is the sheet module that is these ones third one is the workbook module that is this one and fourth one is the user form module i'll double click on this that is this one and the fifth one is the class module which is this one so these are the five different modules now there is a question saying that why should we actually have these five different modules wherein all are actually looking same i'll explain why actually we have different five different modules first thing is standard module standard module will actually have almost all the macros which we'll be using in my dashboard template or you know any of my excel uh, files next one is the sheet module the sheet module is actually used to write macros within that sheet itself only for that sheet this workbook is actually used for writing macros for that particular say workbook so okay next one is user form module user form module is actually used to write macros or say create some user forms wherein i can have the inputs say user can actually have some inputs so you can use that the next one is the class module wherein i can create my own methods or properties or whatever that i'll explain what are these things. okay this are things now one more difference is if you go to this standard module see i have two drop downs here the first drop down let me click on this it says general and here i have this declaration i will not have any objects or any events this is called as object drop down and this is called as events drop down wherein i will not have any object or any event in my standard module but rest all the other modules let's go to the sheet module see i'll have the same two drop downs are there if you click on this see i have this worksheet and here i'll have this events what are these events what are these objects there is a different chapter for that that i'll be explaining it to you in detail when you come to that chapter coming to this this workbook see here i have an object i have all the i have all the events which are available to this particular object let's go to this user form double click see here also i'll have this object and events related to that go to this class module i'll have an object and then events related to that okay now all the other modules will have the events and objects but in standard module i don't have any object or any events right okay but one more difference is i can create any number of user form modules or say the standard module or sheet module or class module but only one workbook module okay so this is actually the first step what you actually have to learn before starting your macros so let me repeat again we learned about project explorer which will go to this view and say project explorer or say property window and then code window okay these are the three main windows what you should actually first understand right okay next we learned about what is macro macro means it is nothing but a set of instructions or programs written in my module okay fine so what is a module module is nothing but it is a place where i write the macros and then next we learned about five different type of modules so those are standard module sheet module workbook module user form module and class module so okay fine good next is let me go to the ppt and i'll show you what actually is there in the ppt and again i'll come back to this and i'll explain how we can start writing a very simple macros so okay let me close this window can see some two lines someone has written here so how to remove that so, 
Okay. So guys, can you see this Excel screen here? All of you? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Yes. Okay. So let me just share my PPT also with you so that uh, you guys can uh, understand what is there in the PPT as well. So I was talking about different, uh, you know, uh, windows or something. See, see, I was talking about the Project Explorer. Right. So you can go through this in detail if you want. As I told you, I don't want to go through all these, you know, points. This is prepared for you guys so that you can sit and uh, learn, uh, you know, in detail. See here, I explained very clearly that how we can go and uh, how we can actually use these things. So whatever I've explained, so that you'll have here. See property window. So everything is very clearly explained for you guys with this PPT. You can code window. Okay, so you can go through these uh, um, you know PPTs. So it'll be easy for you to learn as well by your own after this session as well. Okay, this. Uh, PPTs or say you know everything will be shared with you so it will be easy for you to work on that right okay let's go to another chapter let me close these PPTs and I'll open one more PPT and I'll explain you how we can go to this next chapter okay next one is the object module so let me open that and I'll explain what object module is Again, this is a bit of a, um, a theory, so I'll just explain it very quickly, and then we'll start uh, you know, few macros. Okay, so let me just share this with you guys. So you guys can see this. Okay, so this is actually about the object module. Again, this is a bit of uh, you know, um, uh, you know theory, uh, which I'll explain how to understand your objects. So first of all, uh, again, I'll not go through the complete uh, PPT here. I'll explain what actually it is. Object means say uh, all the uh, applications or say workbook or worksheet or whatever. These are actually called as objects in my MS Office application. Okay, the hierarchy actually you have to understand. So what are those hierarchy? So hierarchy in the sense. So first I have this MS Office application. In that I have Excel. Then I have workbook. Then I'll have worksheet. Then I'll have say columns or ranges or charts or whatever. So the hierarchy actually goes like this. Why it is important, I'll tell you. See the importance of the object hierarchy is whenever you're writing a program. So I'll show you in the next slides we have that. See, I was talking about this application, then workbook. Then I have this worksheet, then I have this range, shapes, and charts. Okay, so this is what I was telling. So this is how the object hierarchy will be. Why actually we should understand this object hierarchy? That I'll tell you. The next slide will have that. When I'm actually writing, see here, just see this example. I'm writing one macro. This I'll show you in the next, uh, after this slide, I'll show you how to write these macros. Can you see this? I have this object here, say sheets dot name. The sheet, what you see, this is an object. The name is nothing but it's a property, right? So here I have this range. Again, it's an object. Okay. So when I say range, it will be only for that particular sheet. Only for that particular sheet. What if I want to use a sheet? Then I'll go here and I'll say sheet. Dot range dot value equals something like this. So that is the hierarchy. When I say application dot workbooks dot sheet dot range, so this is how actually we have to understand writing the macros. Okay, so what will happen is if you're not understanding this uh, hierarchy, you might end up with writing a wrong code or you might get errors because of the uh, the uh, uh, the sequential of uh, your uh, hierarchy. So the hierarchy always should be like this. See, application, workbook, worksheet, then range or shapes or charts. So you should have the objects like this. So this I will explain in the next few minutes 
how this hierarchy will be, how to start this program so that it will become easy for you to understand this object hierarchy and how to write macros. Okay, again, I told you these first three chapters are more of uh, uh, theory wherein uh, you should understand before writing the macros. The next chapter is all about writing the macros. So what I'll do is I'll teach you guys how to write a simple macros today and then we'll end the session because I don't want to go too much of complex uh, with these uh, macros because most of you sitting here may not be from uh, programming uh, background or uh, you would have not worked about this uh, macros at all. So what I'll do is I'll show you how to write some very simple macros, try to understand that and then practice that. And then the next session I'll be showing you with single liner, multi-liner, semi-complex programs and slowly we'll move on to the complex programs. Okay, let me just open my Excel sheet again. I'm just trying to open my Excel sheet. We'll take a new file. I'm just taking a new file and then I'll share. Okay, so you guys can see my Excel sheet. Guys? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, yeah, whatever we have learned, first three chapters, okay, it's all about theoretical uh, understanding, like how we should actually start the macros. And that is also very important because you have to understand the windows, the kind of modules what we have, and then only actually you can start writing a very good program. Okay. First thing before writing the macros, so what we have to do is we have to save the file. Okay, that is very, very important. You know, you're writing a very good program, lot of programs, lot of modules you've written, but you're not saving it in the right format and everything is gone for toss. Okay, so make sure that you guys are saving the file first. It will not take more than 30 seconds. So what I'm telling is have the habit of saving your workbook first. First thing you have to do that. So how to save this workbook? Say control S, it'll get saved. No, you say control S, but there is a way of saving it. Say I'll use this control S or to show you, I'll go here, say save first time. If it is not saved, then it will go to save as, or you can directly go to save as as well. I'll say save as, it lasts for the path. If you're saving it in your say cloud, you can go here, or if you want to save somewhere in your uh, um, system itself, or say in uh, a standalone system, a desktop, I'll go here. Let me just save it here. So what I'll do is I'll just create one folder. Save. Okay. I'll say. Mention here PBA online. Session one. Now you can see this Excel workbook. Don't save it as Excel workbook. Just click on this and here I have something called as macro enabled workbook. Click on this. Now I'll get this. The file name extension for Excel will be dot XLS Excel. But when I say macro enabled workbook, it will become dot XLS M. Okay. Let me save this. If I save this, so here I'll get this Excel workbook which is uh, into uh, you know, um, uh, served as micro enabled workbook that will be saved in the place where I've mentioned okay now this excel the macro enabled workbook so you want to start the macros first thing I told you if you want to go to VB editor I have to use alt f11 and I'll go to this editor and you can see there is one product explorer which is already there if it is not there also now you guys know how to enable it say control r I'll enable it Right. Okay. Now we studied about the different kind of modules where I write the programs. Now let's forget all the modules and just think only about the standard module to write the macros. Forget about all the other four modules right now. So what we do is let's work only on standard module. Now to create the standard module, what I'll do, right click, insert and say module. See, I got this module. So once I get this module, 
I can start writing the macros in it. Now here I can see something called as option explicit. Let me remove this. If you don't have, so don't bother about it. Don't even bother about it. That itself is a different option. If you don't have, just ignore it. Now I come to this module here with this standard module. Don't use any other modules. Use the standard module. Now let's start writing the program or say macro. So how to start this macro? That is also very important. How to start this macro? First thing what I have to do is I'll say sub. So this is what I have to type first. Or you can go to this insert and here I have this procedure. From here also I can actually write the macros. Okay. So don't worry. You don't have to go here and click on this procedure and then um, you know start writing the macros. You can just say sub and again people keep asking questions saying that whether it should be in a small letter or it should be in a capital don't bother say i write sub and give space automatically once you start writing the program it will get uh, uh, to the um, uh, uh, say the text converter whatever is there it will automatically uh, uh, it's a keyword actually so you don't have to bother about whether it is capital or small letters okay sub the next one is the program name the program name is nothing but it's an identifier that which macro has to run. Say I have written some instruction and name given to that instruction. So what is that? Let's say sub, I'll go here. I'll say I want to display a text. Okay, see, I mentioned it. Now, when I say display text, there should be a proper name for this. First thing is make sure that you'll have a proper you know, the, um, um, a sense making uh, name. Say, don't uh, just type your name there because when I'm writing some instruction, it should actually mention what actually the instru instruction says. So when I say display text, I've just mentioned it as DIS. If you want, you can mention it as display text. See, I can use like this. Now, there are a few rules what you have to follow with this program name. Let's say I want to give display text. I'll say display text. First thing is make sure that this is one single word. It should not be multiple words. No space allowed. No space allowed. Next thing. No numbers allowed in the beginning. See, it'll throw error. No special characters. See, no special characters no dot you can use number in the end or somewhere after first character you can start the text with small letters capital letters there is no problem at all okay and you can use up to 255 characters not more than that make sure that this will be a meaningful name first and again we cannot use two different programs with the same name Okay, now I mentioned it as display text. I'll say enter. Can I see that? Automatically, I'll get open bracket and a close bracket and end sub. So you don't have to type this. Automatically, it will come. See, sub display text is the program name. And here I have this open bracket, close bracket, and then end sub. Now what I have the space here. This is where I'll be writing my instructions. The whole thing what you see here is called as macro and here i'll be writing my instructions now don't bother about the standardizations standardization i'll explain how actually you should write the um, you know rename the objects and all those things that i'll take it in a different section now i'll say display text i use a function name called as message box i'll say come to line see this is called as instruction one liner just a simple instruction how to start the macro see sub this is a program name and here i'm saying message box and this is the message which i need to display let me just run this now when i say run that means i'm executing executing how say here i have one small button here a green button if i click on this this will get executed can you see that welcome to online session or I have a shortcut key that is F5, it'll run. And again, this has been very clearly, very simple it's mentioned in my PPT as well, that PPT will be shared with you. Okay, this is for displaying text. Now just 
I'll copy this and I'll paste it here. Now I'll say display number. If you want, you can type that completely or you can just copy paste and just you can modify it as well. See, I'll go here. I'll mention this as say, let's say 100. Can you see the difference here? See, when I say display text, I put this double quote. When I put this display number, I put without double quotes. Whenever I'm actually using text as a parameter for this message box or anywhere, this double quote should be there. And here for number, it should not be there. I'll explain why we should not put double quotes for numbers. Let me just run this and then I'll explain. See, can you see that? I got 100. Now let's say I want to display a calculation. Let me copy this. Put it here. Here I'll mention it as calculation. Say 100 plus 200. Let me run this. I'm getting this 300. Now I mentioned why we should not put double quotes. Let me just copy this and I'll put it here. I will just give another number here because it should not have same name in two different programs. I'll say 100 plus 200. Instead of this, if I put double quotes, just see what will happen. See here, I put double quote for text. Here I've not put double quote for numbers. Here I've not put double quote for calculation. Now if you put double quotes here and if I run this, see, again I'm telling you F5 is the shortcut key or I'll go here and click on this icon here. Just click on this, see, it says 100 plus 200 instead of 300. See, both are same program, but here I have this double quotes. Here I don't have this double quotes. Now let me go here. I'll say equals, I can also do like this. Suppose if you are getting confused, what I'll do, I'll just take one more macro here, say three here I'll say equals. Now I want the text as well as the calculation. I'll say ampersand 100 plus 200. See, let me run this. Can you see that 100 plus 200 equals this part? What you see is actually a text. 300 is actually a calculation. I'll say, okay, can you see this 100 plus 200 equals till here it's text. And after that, it is calculation, right? Let me repeat again. Whatever programs you have written from year to year, this is called as hard-coded values. You are not taking any value dynamically. If you want to take it dynamically, you have to connect it to Excel. That I'll explain in the next session onwards because now I want you guys to understand what is VBA, what is macro, how to start your programs, how we can get the hard coded values. That is the intention of this class because I don't want to do too many classes in the beginning only so that it will make you guys confusing. First, you have to understand this. Let me repeat again these things. A sub is nothing but sub procedure, which will actually help me in starting the macro. The next one is the program name, which actually represents the instruction what I'm actually writing here. And this program name has got some rules what you have to follow that is no space, no number in the beginning, no dot, no special characters, no two program can have same name. So these are the rules. Whatever you're writing inside this sub and end sub is called as instructions and all the instructions will be executed by pressing F5 as a shortcut key or pressing this icon here. So, okay, when I click on this, these instructions are done. So don't get confused that only this message box is there. This is just for beginning, I've given this macros. So how to start this macros, that's all. We have a lot of instructions which we can give here, you know, um, that I'll be telling you in the different sessions. Once you guys are familiar with these things, how to start the macros, then only I can actually start giving you some one-liners and um, say the multi-liners or say semi-complex. The programs goes on like this. But guys, again, I'm reminding you for today's session, if you want to practice, please make sure that you are practicing only on this standard module. Do not use other modules. Okay. So what I'll do is I will end the session here. Give me your feedback. This file, whatever is there, this I'll be sending it to you. Again, the three chapters, whatever is there, that PPT, 
uh, there is nothing called as a practicing files today uh, for this but i'll show you the syllabus what we have here how these ppts have been uh, you know um, prepared so that it will be easy for you to work on let me just show you that as well let me just share this window with you this one can you see this window all the chapters here people hello yes yeah yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. see yeah. what we have done yes, is sir. till these three chapters what we have done okay next day is completely working on the macro see understanding macro see you open this see i have this one chapter where i'll uh, explain uh, about how we can start the macros that what actually we did now here we have see here how to start the programs and i have all this uh, excel files here wherein you can see how we can uh, write the macros so all this will be explained see here then i have this executing simple macro see here i have all the macros written here um, i'll be sharing all these files with you as and when the chapter goes on so it will be easy for you to work as well all the working files have been uh, you know mentioned here and here see for every chapter there is one ppt and the instruction file here that is a excel file here so that you can easily work i'll just show you one of the uh, you know files here so that uh, you guys will uh, easily understand how actually we have prepared the materials i'll just show you one uh, um, excel file let's say you are in a chapter let me just share this so you guys can see this excel yes. file yeah so these files i'll be sharing it with you as and when the chapter uh, is done say alt f11 see now if you say this i have different uh, chapters say loops if you go here say i mentioned everything here see all the macros this i'll be explaining it with you again these files also will be with you so it will be easy for you to learn see here if you go step by step i've given say first is something like this then again a simple uh, instruction then again it goes on and it will become more complex here like this see then another the different uh, loops here like this so for every chapters we have done something like this so that it will be very easy for you to understand and along with that i'm telling you that i'll be sharing this uh, class video also so that uh, you guys can understand you can work on this okay people so i'm stopping this here because i don't want to you know in the first day itself give you so many things it will actually confuse you guys so this first three or four i think four chapters actually understanding macros also we have done this four chapters the ppt along with the video what is there that i'll be sending with you also i'll be sending this micro file which we did the online session one this also i'll be sharing uh, with everyone who have attended this session okay so uh, now you guys can uh, unmute and uh, you know if you have any questions so please ask because we still have 10 minutes uh, so that uh, guys and again one more thing i'm telling you this session i put only one hour so that we can understand okay so next session will be little more hours so that uh, you will be learning more uh, macros here so don't get confused why only one hour this one hour was kept because the first class and i want everyone to understand what is macros now to start macros okay so you guys can unmute and you can uh, just uh, of the you can ask me questions or something so you still have 10 minutes yeah this one so this is santosh here one 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 by one one by one yeah santosh yeah i have a quick question see actually we are from i mean i am from almeni because we have already done the training yes. with uh, yes, ITS. yes yes so since uh, whatever you are taking at the, at present is all like uh, simple levels of which we already knew it yes yes because we have already taken training from ITS. yes yes this i want to take a revision see there are some uh, complex uh, macro development or concepts like loops are the complex yes, ones yes uh, condition or informants are con uh, concepts one okay yes this v look up h look ups look ups yes. macro i'm talking about yes, so yes, these yes. things are kind of little concept i mean complex for us yes so is there any uh, sections for uh, people like the uh, alumni people who already taken trainings and you know they wanted to know only this concept part okay so what you are telling Complex is that uh, you want only this part uh, say for example i want uh, loops only loops i want to attend because i've already attended these sessions right that's yes. what you wanted yeah. so i'll i'll uh, do one thing i'll speak to my team and see how we can actually plan the sessions say for example today we are actually taking uh, um say loops so you guys will be informed so that uh, you can attend that session so something like that we can do because the session what i have here for the current batches so what uh, the other people are coming say alumni so they are just 
you know attending the sessions so i cannot say that okay i'll today i'll take only loops or something so what i can do is i can inform uh, the alumni saying that okay this is the chapter what we are actually doing today is this agenda so you can uh, connect with that or i'll also see how uh, help i can do say for example a separate sessions for you guys or something like that that uh, i'll uh, discuss offline with my team and i'll uh, get back to you yeah thank you so much because uh, sure. this kind of section will be very helpful for us no, no, sure i understood what you're like santosh i because earlier when we when we were taking this training we never had any projects in hand after taking this uh, training only we went into the project yes. now in the projects we are coming across yes, some yes. challenges you know yes. that so don't worry you you uh, shoot your uh, you know uh, requirements as well so based on that also we can take the trainings so uh, not to worry about it yeah thank you so much nice okay sir. sure any other uh, yeah. questions yes uh, somshekar here yes, uh, just a couple of questions uh, sure, how sure. will you be sharing this you'll be sharing this across the email or what uh, these uh, uh, i now? think as of now we have to do it through email only okay. um, we'll see how uh, better we can make either uh, we can put it in a google drive and share the a link or link. we can directly share but you will be getting this mail because uh, the video what okay. we are actually trying to save it will be you know yeah. too big actually so through mail it cannot okay. come i'll see how uh, better i can do but for sure i'll uh, see to that you guys will uh, receive these uh, materials and uh, the videos okay so when will be the next session will we uh, we be intimated regarding that i will intimate it? because i have to uh, now speak to my teammates as well because uh, okay. this session okay. was only for the weekend classes which uh, we are supposed to start Okay. okay okay so uh, you'll be getting a mail saying that uh, your uh, timings or something so based on that we'll okay. categorize and we'll plan the uh, schedule okay sure sure yeah any other questions hello mahesh here mahesh tell me mahesh so you had written something called text and numbers and everything yes so there were five programs something that you yes know. yes yes whenever you select one thing and then you play only that result comes yes yes so the, so whenever you want any result we have to select that and then run it or how does it work okay so my see i'll tell you what that you don't have to select the complete program if you put your cursor let me just share again okay let me just share that again okay hello hello yes sir yeah. so uh, can you see the screen here yes i can yeah, see here i have this macro so if you want to execute this just place your cursor inside this and then click on this right place here click on this okay don't worry see still uh, it's just a beginning so i know a lot of uh, okay. confusions are there don't worry as and when you go with the classes it become more easy so here i have given only one line here i can have multiple lines sir you saw one of our uh, other uh, file right mm -hmm. so there were multiple right. lines actually so um, come here, let me just see can you see this uh, codes here right. yeah so this is like multi liner so like this i have uh, different different uh, Programs as and when the classes goes on, so you'll understand how to write multi-liners or say complex, semi-complex, and all. Then you'll know how to execute multiple programs as well. So we have something called as functions where you can call so many functions and uh, run the programs. As of now, we just put your cursor here and click on this green button. It's done like that. Okay. So if I'm writing the multiple uh, program, so mm -hmm. it should come uh, from sub two within that. So the moment I put as end sub, so that ends the entire program. See, I'll tell you what. See, sub end sub. Here the program is ended. Right. Okay. Now suppose if you want to run multiple programs at one uh, this thing, you have to write a separate program. Now I don't want to confuse you guys. So let's okay, not uh, now I... skip the topic because if it is a classroom training, again I can explain you very clearly. Online training, you will become more confused. So I don't want to right. confuse you more. Okay. So okay. I'll, I'll uh, not uh, take that topic now. Okay, got it. Any other doubts, people? Uh, sir, uh, uh, Santosh is again. Yeah. Next time, I know you are sharing it now, sir. Today, yeah. what all the topics will be covered? If you yes. give me the list of uh, topics, will be nicer. And sure, you know, sure, sometimes sure. you can also be pre-prepared uh, while joining the class, okay. so that you not to like uh, to make the concept understanding to us will not understood, be difficult. Understood. 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 Yeah. Understood. Sure. Thank you, sir.
Sure. So all that is there in the plans. So first we wanted to understand. So people how they actually take this online training. So for that reason, we just uh, started this. So we still have more plans uh, so that uh, you guys should not be confused. So guys, uh, and one more uh, uh, like video is effective, audio is effective. We are not finding any kind of inter, uh, inter uh, connection, connectivity issues are not there, mm -hmm. and it is making very much interesting for us. Like uh, mm -hmm. one hour section, it went so quick. Mm -hmm. So if you can extend like two hours, three hours also will be good. I think so. Hundred percent, it will be extended. Like that. Hundred yeah, percent. I just want to understand your, uh, you know, uh, see, in classroom we can sit for three hours, four hours. Online, you know, you have to just listen. You don't have time to practice. Right. So for that reason, I just thought, let me see one hour. So we'll extend this. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We'll extend this. So guys, we still have three minutes left. So quickly, if you have any questions, you can ask or offline again, still you can uh, keep in touch with us. You can give your feedback or any suggestions or anything is welcome. So don't think that uh, once this meeting is over, uh, you're done. So you still have the group. So you can, uh, you know, still uh, ask the questions offline as well. Okay. So I'll end this session. Uh, be home, be safe, be healthy, be happy. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And we wish you the same for you to be safe. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Take care, sir. Take care. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Take care. <laughs> Thank you.